the big health story of the day. Joe swashes bandaged ear. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously. Oh, thank God for Stacey. that. <laughs> you know, thank God for Joe's ear. But look, Carol, look. What's oh. oh, God, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Is it real? <laughs> it's real. I think they're being precautionary about an ear infection. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah, but it could be serious, though. It could be, but can I just set the scene, OK? He told me nothing about this. Nothing. Not even, oh, do you know what, I think I might go and see a doctor, blah, blah, blah. Nothing. I've been waiting for him at home for hours and hours, thinking, God, what is he doing? Hurry up. He walks through the door like <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> at first, but obviously the first thing I did was check that he hadn't had an ice skate chop his ear off. <laughs> and then once I'd established that that... Because <laughs> I suppose that's what you would have thought. Oh, it was then. just was so dramatic, Nadia. And I honestly, I can tell you, after I realised it wasn't serious, I did cry with laughter for a good hour. <laughs> <laughs> what what is it? So basically, he when it, while he's been practicing, he's taken some hits to the ear, right? And over time, it's built up, and he's got a little infection in there. And he's been saying and saying for ages, Ooh. you know what? I'm, I, this doesn't feel right. I don't think it's right. And every time he said it to me, I, I, on my life, I've <laughs> said, you know what, Joe? I think you should go to the doctor. If it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't look right, go to the doctor. No, no, no. Everyone says it will be fine, so I think I'll be fine. <laughs> so but, what did the pain just it, get so bad then? Is that well, what no, got in there eventually? It got bigger and bigger. <laughs> so what the ear? Eventually, someone at Dancing on Ice finally said to him, "Oh, I think it's a good idea that you go and get that checked out." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your ear's getting in the way, John. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that he gave you no warning that he was going to come home no, like that. Nothing. Did oh. you tell me you've gone to the hospital? And it's, I don't know if you're, if anyone else has got this with their partners, but it is infuriating. And on a serious note, I cannot get him to the doctor for love nor money, it, it, it doesn't matter what I say, he just goes, yeah, yeah, I'll be all right, and carries on until his ears are literally the size of his head. Oh, but, <laughs> I mean, you hear that so often, don't you? That, that sort of thing about blokes will not go to the doctor but are still quite kind of hypercondrial. I mean, I have to say, I mean, it's exactly the same with, with Ian. He will not. He's really um, aware of his health and he really tries to keep fit, you know, in terms of fitness. Yeah. But in terms of health things... It's just impossible. And, I mean, you turn into his mother, which is horrible. He, I don't yeah. know. But he doesn't have like any anxiety name. about it. That's the difference none. about Ian, isn't he? He's never saying, oh, I've got this or no. I've got that worried. He's so not you can, you can understand that more that yeah. he doesn't go, because he doesn't think there's anything wrong. God, I'd so love to be like him. But he doesn't but... have imaginary ailments. No, 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 no. Very incredibly stoic. Why? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, go, go about your trap wind again, well, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> that problem is real, Kay. Now, that's not oh, a laughing yeah, matter. Like, no, not me. I'm talking about Mark. Mark, Mark, if he went to the doctors every time he said there was something wrong with him, he would, he would have to set up home there. Oh, really? <laughs> Seriously. It's like... I'm Every a bit like day, Mark. there's something new, and I'm like, well, go to the doctors. Oh, well, I'll see what it's like tomorrow, the next day. It's something else. Now, when we're on holiday, he, he had an accident. He fell over <laughs> in, in, off a curb, off a really high curb, and he sprained <laughs> his ankle. Oh, we shouldn't be laughing at don't, that. Don't laugh. <laughs> it's not funny. I wasn't even there. But he <laughs> fell over, and he sprained his ankle, and he, he had a bit of a nasty cut on his knee. But, and he left it. He said, oh, I think I should go, go and see... I said, go and see someone. He said, oh, God, God, go and see... Two weeks later, he goes, right, I'm going to go and see someone. He goes in the clinic... <laughs> anyway, cos he's in the clinic, he's anxious about his ankle and his cut, he thinks it's gone septic already. Hasn't. Scabbing <laughs> over. <laughs> and he, go, he goes in there... Scabbing and over. It's... <laughs> I love a good scab. With his scabbing over. But he gets... <laughs> He gets in the clinic and they take his blood pressure, but because he's in the clinic, it's gone skyrocket, oh, right? Oh, quite hypertension. Oh, no. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. it turned out that they, they decided he just had this kind of white coat syndrome and it's just going into clinics. But have, I, have we stopped hearing about the sprained ankle? I think yeah. I should get an X-ray. <laughs> this is a month down the line. <laughs> I think I should get an X-ray. And he's walking around, he's going to the gym. Oh, look so at So what it. do you think, think he won't go and get an X-ray then? He doesn't need an X-ray. <laughs> I mean, the whole point is, every time something is wrong with him, I go, it's fine, don't worry about it. So it's my fault, really, because I, I try and toughen him up. <laughs> and, then, and then he goes, oh, I'm not going to go to the doctor. When he really needs to go to the doctors, he doesn't then, do so it. So what underlies what that, it? then? Because he's moaning about it, but he's not doing anything about it. I don't know. I mean, does Mark... 
sort oh, of complain God. about it and then not do anything about it. Oh, my God, it. every single day he's got ten different things, every single day. And this morning I sent him a really long text. It started with, I, said, I say this with love. I even put a heart, just in case. So it wasn't like a full-on row. And I went, but I'm going to be really honest. I feel your pain. <laughs> I'm really scared you're going to die. <laughs> Thing he read this morning. You put was that in the text. Of course, because of he, course. Because, because what can I do? He keeps. I can see everything he's doing love, that is it? unhealthy, and he won't do this. He won't do that. Blood pressure high. Cortisol this. And then I went on and on and on and on. It was a very long text, making suggestions. Maybe you could do this. Maybe you could do that. Da 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 da. But see, I might not always be here to tell you. What is the oh. psychology behind it, though? Because yeah. why am I? I why is Joe? bless him, love his heart, walking through the door saying, I really think this is bad, but asking my opinion instead of a trained professional <laughs> that I keep putting him in the direction Did, of. But I, 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 then he won't listen to either. He won't listen to your opinion. Well, well, I mean, it's natural. You don't want bad news. Nobody wants bad news. And if you go to, you know, he could speak to you about it so he gets it out, his anxiety, but there's nothing conclusive. Whereas if you go to a trained professional and they say, yes, Joe, it is bad, then you have to face up to it. And then you can it. deal with it. If you leave it and leave it and leave it, you don't have it. But what I would say is there's, there's two sides to that. Like, you, mm. you're very much... When you, you get... And when we both get health anxiety, don't we share on that, but you, you will go and get it seen to, and that maybe you get it overseen to, maybe you go too yeah. many times, and he doesn't go at all. It's just the two ways of de dealing with... Did I ever tell you the story about when I first knew Mark? <laughs> and he used to make me take his pulse every night. Pulse? <laughs> can I ask... At what know, point in the evening? <laughs> well, later on. But I was like... That's a different thing. You know when you first... <laughs> That's a different ah, thing. You yes. know when you first know someone and you don't want to say to them, well, don't be so blown and stupid, so you find yourself doing things. And I was, like, taking his pulse every night. I was just going, oh, my God, this guy's so weird. But I like everything else about him. And then, like, about a month in, I said, you do realise that I don't know what I'm doing when I take your pulse. Because, <laughs> oh, my God, I could have been so ill, my blood pressure could have been high, and you didn't know. <laughs> I'm not a nurse. He gets moles out, he gets everything out. I don't know. Do you know what, though, I will say, <laughs> is one of the one things that if I get really nervous about something or if I've had a really bad day, I'll make Joe stay up and make sure that I don't <laughs> stop breathing in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just watch me sleep and just the fault that he's watching me Aww. and make sure that I'm... I, so I get that... Pulse. Really? Oh, that bad? Is, is there a bad. chance that we are Same neurotic thing. control freaks? Yes. That's <laughs> absolutely <laughs> possible. I've just, I've just diagnosed that <laughs> and I think it's true. What does Rex make of the big bandage? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> when he woke up, he was all happy and he was so smiling in the morning. He noticed the bandage. Look, wait. <laughs> 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 He does not know what to make of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen him not, like, full beam. <laughs> He's usually so happy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh What well. is this? I tell you what, I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to dancing on ice this Sunday to see that bandage. What the they going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I lost Poor myself. Joe. <laughs> No, 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 and she's really sympathetic to me. Yeah, I am. Honest. Still she was cut. crying a lot this morning. <laughs> yeah, she's really upset about it, Jill. She is. Uh, she's just covering it up. It's nerve, doesn't it? <laughs>